Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's KFB Cash for DJ coming back at you guys for another episode, another installment of a 30 day challenge. Uh, we're at day eight. Uh, it's a bit late, had a bunch of stuff going as usual. But anyway, uh, I want to go into another uh, lesson that um, would be uh, helpful. One moment here, one moment. There we go. Uh, gonna go into a, a quick lesson here uh, for one moment. Uh, about uh, what uh, we're going to be talking about uh, for a brief minute, quick minute, real brief video, um, talking about professional networking. And professional networking is kind of germane to what I uh, do, what I get into, and all of that. I get into something called group economics. Uh oh, it's freezing up. Wait a minute. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Freezing up again. Okay. Goodness, it might go out or do something crazy. Yeah, because it's freezing up. I don't know if it's my phone or whatever. If it's it freezes up and we have some technical difficulties. Oh, it freezes up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, uh oh, wait a minute. Okay, is that it? Okay, I think that's it. I hope that's it. All right, whatever. I don't know what that is, but it might go out and do something weird. If it go, if it gets weird, I just you know come back and do another one. If it if it cuts off and does something weird, but yeah, this is a uh, Kev the Cash for DJ uh, coming back at you with another episode of uh, the thirty day challenge. It's a thirty day uh, video challenge. I'm doing with another group hashtag MTA challenge. Uh -oh, I hope this. Hope I got the name of it right. Um, is the uh, group that I'm doing it with. I'm gonna put the link. I'm gonna put a link down there so you all can go to the website and download every download the little, the book, the PDF that they have, and um, get some information into what you know, what how, how how everything works or whatever. I mean, it's a little late, but like I say, the way I do it, I kind of I have a different timeline. So whenever you start is whenever you start. But anyway, uh, getting back into this um, uh, professional networking. Um, Thing that's kind of uh, extremely germane to what I'm talking about, which is uh, group economics, and uh, we're talking about groups, individuals, um, you know, all of that type of stuff, getting together, doing certain things, and in this case, it'd be something economic, uh, small business primarily, but you know, other things too, um, related to that, or possibly related to that, or just different causes. You know, it's kind of like crowdfunding too. Uh, but anyway, networking, professional networking um as usual uh these topics that i may go on to for a minute or two can be get can get so deep there are books tons well not tons I mean, there probably are tons of books on the subject of networking what all is involved in it what how you know what goes down with it uh just just a lot to it because it's so much psychology it's a lot of psychology to it uh, one of my core concepts that I get into of a lot of my foundation, I guess you can call it my foundational concepts. I call them CFH concepts. Hey, what's up, Manny? Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining, man. Uh, just talking about the concept of networking and how there's a whole lot involved with that. I mean, it's a simple thing, but with anything simple, if you go deep enough, it can get a little bit, you know, it can get a little bit complex. You don't have to make it complex. You can keep it simple, though. So, so the layman, the regular layman can do it. But we're talking about the concept of networking and what all goes into it and uh, uh, the concept of professional networking. And professional networking is, uh, you know, it, it can be self-explanatory, but uh, it, it can be different things in different situations depending on what you're doing. So in an entrepreneurial situation, you know, networking is uh, getting with people like, for instance, getting a job. Hey, how you doing, Ms. Chris? Ah, thanks for joining me. Um, thirty day challenge here, day number eight. We we're, we're keeping it going. We're keeping it going. You know, I gotta I gotta go. I maybe fall behind, but I gotta go. But uh, yeah, we're talking about networking, and people you know know a lot about networking. Look look look, look at different examples. Let's say getting a job. You know, you want to get a job, a good job, or whatever it is. And if you do some, I mean, you can bust applications, you can do resumes, you can do all of that and slam the door, you know, do all of that type of stuff. It works. It does work. It's, it's a little bit hard. It's a tough old school way. But the other way or another way to do that is networking. 
That means if you know somebody, you know, the human touch, you know, you can do networking and get, you know, through your relationships, you kind of can do, you know, you may be to get ahead a little bit better. You may have an inside inside strategy, inside uh, uh, avenue to whatever's going on. And everybody's heard of that old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. You know, so, I mean, <laughs> we know that's true. Sometimes it is what you know. And like I said, the regular normal way does work. Applications and all of that, cold calling, door knocking, that's, it still works. It's, it's, it's old as the hills. It's, it's, it's always going to work. But networking is, uh, is, is definitely a different way to do that. And it's definitely more effective. Exactly, Manny. Uh, people don't know how, see, that's why I'm just barely touching on these subjects because there's so much to it. <laughs> it it's, it's wow. It's just amazing when you really get into it. But, you know, it's, it's also good to kind of keep it simple and look at the basics of what it is and why it's effective and different ways you can use it and different ways that it helps out. But we're on a social networking site. This is social media, social with the emphasis on social. And, you know, it's a little gathering. We, we, you know, we chatting and all this type of stuff and throwing up little stuff and everybody's doing everything. And but a lot of times it's not necessarily uh, some real serious networking that goes on. A lot of you have probably noticed that as you as you, you know, you, you've been you've poked around for a little while. You probably noticed that, you know, so it depends on what you want to do. But we talk about professional networking. And uh, what I'm uh, focusing on with uh, professional networking, not just necessarily getting to the nuts and bolts of it, but kind of more into the numbers of it and then get into the psychology, because another one of my core uh, concepts, I call them CFH concepts, cash for hustles concepts, besides psychology and really in life is mathematics. And I don't want to get deep, <laughs> but life is about psychology and mathematics. Really, it's about psychology and mathematics. Now, I'm saying that little one sentence. You don't know how deep that is. Psychology and mathematics. Uh, you know, and, and you got the mathematics people who focus hard on that. And you get the psychology people who focus hard on that. And you think about it just logic and emotion. But I don't, don't let me don't don't let me get into that. That's I, I can go for days on that. Let me get back. Off. I'm just missing that because networking is 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 about the quantity and also the quality. So uh, what I'm going to talk about a little bit more so is kind of the numbers aspect of it, uh, the numerical aspect of it, and how if you network a certain amount of numbers, you can do this and do that and do this. I put a post this morning about um, about somebody was asking a Korean lady about uh, she had opened a business, which I kind of focus on small businesses. She had opened a small business. You know, we have a lot of immigrants here that open businesses and what have you, you know, 7-Elevens and, you know, all types of immigrants. And people see like a specific immigrant immigrant group, especially in Chicago, because I'm from Chicago and, and we have a lot of immigrant groups. Notice I said the word groups, a lot of immigrant groups that open small businesses. They open a Dunkin Donuts. They open a whatever. Uh, this, this particular uh, ethnic group or entity, uh, they open up uh, this construction business. You see a whole lot of them doing it. Why do you see a whole lot of this specific ethnic group doing a specific business? Then you see uh, some, you go to some cleaners, at least in Chicago. I don't know about in other cities. You see all these uh, Korean people that are doing the cleaners. And then you go to another business and you see like uh, we had a lot of uh, Eastern European people that were doing the janitorial business. Cause I work downtown, you know, with a lot of bit, a lot of uh, office buildings and around 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, I'm getting off work. I'm going home and I would see a lot of, uh, um, you know, uh, Russian guys, Polish or whatever, a lot of Eastern European guys. And they'd be working at night, 10, 11, 10 to 6 in the morning, whatever it is, doing janitorial work on um, the uh, office buildings. And, and you would see many of them, several of them doing this, you know, and you're like, wow, you're just a regular guy signing applications, doing, going to college, whatever you're doing. And you see these little, these groups doing these things and they're getting together doing stuff. And you're like, wow, you kind of sit back and wonder, wow, I wonder how they're doing that. And they're succeeding. Like, wow, I wonder how they're doing that. That's very interesting. And you see another group doing this, another group doing that. So this stuff I'm talking about with this group economics, this is not some kind of a brand new, this is another one of my core concepts. Stuff I, a lot of the stuff I say is not new. It's ancient. This is not a brand new thing. It's something that's been going on for a while. It's just not something that you hear about out there and people don't really focus on it. They just see it happen. They don't, they just keep going. But anyway, the post this morning, well, you had asked a lady with the gas, I think she had a gas station. No, no, she had a beauty shop. Not, not a beauty shop. She had a beauty supply store. 
And uh, she had asked him some questions about how she got it. She was trying to get some information. She thought it was going to be paperwork and loans and applications and, you know, grants and all of this and, you know, going to the government. And she found out some secret government way and all of this. And she was ready. She thought she was going to get all this game and all this knowledge. Wow. She's going to give me the inside scoop on what paper to sign up and what congressman to talk to. Nah, <laughs> she didn't tell her that. She told her, oh, no, we just get together five or six of them or whatever they get they have a little agreement arrangement between them we get together and they put up a certain amount of money i think like five or ten thousand each or whatever and they work like low wage minimum wage jobs or whatever you know five uh, they get together like a group of five or six of them or however many and for about two or three years maybe they would work at one particular business or whatever until the, the person gets up enough money they pull then their money together and the person get up enough money and then they would pay them back over like a couple of years or whatever. And then the next person would go out of that little circle and they go open up some sort of a gas station or whatever. And they repeat the process. And they do this in this little circle and they keep doing it. And it becomes generational. And they, you know, this group networked together and they came up with a solution to something that didn't involve credit checks, didn't involve banks, didn't involve red tape, didn't involve governments, didn't involve bribes. And, you know, and it's been happening for decades, decades has been going on. But, you know, from certain immigrant groups, they have certain cultures and they do what they do and they get together and they, and they take care of business. They, they solve the problem. They're problem solvers. So when I'm talking about networking together, more than one person. You know, networking together on the numerical side is getting together. Uh, uh, and let's say I, I kind of want to get a movement going. I really got some big, big plans, goals and dreams of what I want to do. But to start small, uh, to have a, a, group, a goal of uh, about 100 businesses. And everybody's heard of uh, the Million Man March, right? The Million Man March you had uh, Farrakhan got the million black people together and they did the thing in Washington, D.C., whatever, and all this. And other people have copied that or whatever. Well, the same thing can apply in other areas and also can apply economically or for small businesses or whatever. And you get 100, <laughs> you can sort of call it the 100 Business March, but I kind of call it the 100 Business Marathon. That's a starting point. That's what I'm talking about numbers, the 100 Business Marathon. And if you do the group thing, borrowing from the, the, the example of the Korean lady where you get a few people, you know, family members networking to whatever they're doing. They get together and they network and they, you know, let's say three, three small businesses and it will be helpful. To kind of get Wait a minute. Uh oh, yeah. I knew something was going on. So somebody wired this connection, I guess. Something. Um, but uh, some technical stuff, my connection or whatever. But, um, you know, it's three people, you know, it's, it's, it's fine depending on what it is that you're doing. But a lot of times it may, you know, they may need a few more. So maybe like about five or six or so. So at a hundred businesses, you know, with about three, let's say three, it's about 300 people or five, it's about 500 people. So just to start a movement and this thing could blow up once you get a hundred people, a hundred businesses, rather small businesses to get, uh, you know, up and going successfully running for even 90 days. Then that'd be five or 10 years. You're not talking about millions of dollars. You're not even talking about thousands of dollars. You know, and not years and years and years, like over 90 days, you know, or a short time period. And then you branch, you you build from there, from 100 people, you, you, businesses rather, you get to 200 businesses. And the goal would be eventually to get to like about 1,000 or so, or maybe 5,000, you know, and to do that on the national scale. And that's why I'm talking about numbers, uh, larger numbers instead of the actual psychology of how you, you know, actually network together and do all of that. This is just a social media site. But the numbers of that, if we kind of look out a little bit, we kind of open our minds and do a little, I don't know if you want to call it a dream building or whatever, but talking about what we can do uh, with a hundred businesses, that's like what, 300 people who actually get together and do something behind talking about it. Like we do it, we go to a bar or whatever. We having a conversation and we just come up with an idea and it's just a conversation and it, and it, lead, and it stays being a conversation. But to actually follow up behind that, and actually put the work in. Now, there's a little bit more of a story that goes behind that when it comes to partnering or grouping up because it depends on who that you're partnering with and who that you're grouping up with, the quality of the relationship and the quality of the people you're dealing with. So there's a whole lot that goes into it. So you need to have some um, uh, some uh, rules or some 
parameters or some, uh, uh, some uh, a code or some principles, really, that each person is going to actually go by and agree to principles. So they have to have some ethics and some integrity. So it just can't be any bum off the street. Can't just be any old just grabbing any old first person. The quality of the people that you're dealing with have to be reliable people. And uh, that uh, sometimes is also when I've mentioned this. Hey, what's up, Cindy? Hadn't <laughs> seen you in a while. Cindy Vandy is in the house. Uh, Thirty day challenge we're doing. Thirty day video challenge talking about talking about uh, group economics, small business, personal development, other things. A little bit here and there. That's pretty much my specialty. But uh, uh, pref uh, specifically talking about networking. Uh, and the power of networking and what you can do with networking just on one example in one area. And I'm looking to get a movement going or to join a movement that already is there. It doesn't matter who. I don't, I don't really care about the names and all of this type of stuff. It's not really about the individuals because you get bogged down in personalities. That's another core. Well, I got a lot of core principles. Another core principles. People, when they get, they get too caught up in personalities. See, a personality, you get, if you base everything on one leader or one personality or this guy, that guy, and you get all these emotions with, with groups or talking groups, that's a problem because it should be bigger. When you, that's why I say movement. It should be bigger than any individual or bigger than any leader. I'm talking economically. This could apply to other things in life. There are social things that people want to uh, do. There's things for society that people want to do. There's political, there's religious, there's all these other things. So these are higher principles. These are movements. They should not be restricted by an individual or by personality. So, you know, you focus on the actual goal and the actual in integrity and principles of what you want to go. But anyway, that's another See, you can go down a million paths with that. That's another <laughs> kind of another discussion there about the movement versus the leadership. You do need leadership, most definitely. But it, you know, it, it shouldn't be make or make. You shouldn't make a break of what happens based on leadership. But anyway, so we're talking about that number. I was talking about the businesses across the country uh, or just, yeah, across or across a locality. It should be across the country, but you can do it locally, too. And with these numbers, that with that movement is something that can be done. Now, uh, I just want to get into a couple of little things right quick about some of the, uh, I guess some of the, some, some possible costs, even some possible businesses. So this kind of look a little bit more real and won't seem quite as esoteric or whatever, quite as generic. Uh, some examples of some businesses that you could do, even if you don't want to do it, you know, in the long term, you want to do it in the short term, being strategic so that you can go into something bigger, you know, that you want to do. Think about some short term, easy to do businesses that won't be so complicated, uh, or at least once you do the research. And what I'm talking about is businesses that have a 30 day to 60 to 90 day turnaround to profitability. 30 days, 60 to 90 day turnaround to profitability that you can actually do something within 30, 60, 90 days, 30 days, preferably. Some examples, uh, real estate. Now, when I say that, people automatically think you got to have a, a thousands of thousands of dollars, but no, not that's not the case. You got to do a little research on that. Affiliate marketing, uh, network marketing, eBay, direct sales, wholesale retail, service businesses. All these kind of have a quick turnaround, and you don't have to come up with thousands, uh, you know, and a lot of red tape and complicate the process, you know, and have a whole lot of resources that you have to have and you can't get off the ground with something like that. Um, and it's, uh, uh, I got the, a, a lot of this idea from, um, who was, what's his name? I forgot the dude's name, Jason, the guy named Jason Black. He had a movie out a while back called 7 a.m. And the basis of that whole 7 a.m. thing was networking. So I'm focusing on using networking to support and promote a movement. Now, you do have to have the details of something that's doable, that's quickly doable, you know, affordably doable, you know, for three to five, six people or whatever, or 10 people or however many of the people are moving in a group and doing something that they can do. And there's other I just mentioned some examples There's other examples. They can either. Uh, and, and the way I'm uh, doing the movement, <laughs> how's it going, Sherry? <laughs> Doing my thing, you know, you you know how I am. I'm <laughs> thirty day challenge. Thank you for uh, checking out the thirty day challenge. But uh, this is day um, day eight. 
of the uh, 30 day challenge. We're talking about networking. And networking is uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a, in, a little bit of an intense subject, or it can be, but it can be simple as, simple as well. Just a little simple networking. I'm talking about networking for small businesses. Networking for small businesses across the country. Uh, but anyway, I was talking about supporting a movement, promoting a movement, or the movement, rather, this movement, because this is a movement. I, I'm calling it the group economics movement. You know, and it's a lot to it. The group economics movement. I haven't gone into detail on what that is, um, but it's uh, something that's very doable. I'm probably going to go ahead on and break it on down Thursday. Just go on and break it all the way down probably uh, Thursday. <laughs> How's it going, Sherry? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my thing. Doing my live. Doing my live thing. You know me. Hey, you know you know me. You know me. So, hey, whatever. Just trying to get it going. Trying to get it going. Getting it going here. But, yeah, 30-day challenge. And this is day number eight, and we are getting things going. A little tough stuff, stupid stuff keep coming up, but we're going to get it. But anyway, um, in you, uh, this movement, you want to be involved in a movement like this, you could be the, become an investor, a donor, an owner, a joint venture partner, a sponsor, or just a supporter. So you do it. So those are the different ways that you can support a, 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 a this type of movement, and that, as it grows to maybe a thousand businesses across the country, five thousand, ten thousand. But we're trying to stay modest, doable, and reasonable without getting crazy. Now, and that's not not crazy. It's just uh, it takes a whole lot of resources. <laughs> you know, a whole lot of resources. Now across fifty or sixty cities, you see how they broke this down. We just talking about North America. That's the United States and Canada. 50 cities is, I, I kind of get that 50 cities, 60 thing from, uh, concert tours. But there's a lot of people that do concert tours, you know, like Jay Z, Beyonce, whatever. They go on a concert tour or Janet Jackson or somebody. When they go on a full and North American concert tour, they cover 50 to 60 cities. And 50 to 60 cities would pretty much cover the major cities across the U.S. and Canada. You know, Toronto, Seattle, whatever. And those are local cities. By through interview, I mean, through networking, I mean, um, on a per city basis, or at least a per location basis, because some of us in rural areas, um, that a movement like this, a small business, uh, I mean, not small business, the group economics movement or the networking, this, well, you would networking to, to, to get this going, but the group economics movement of a hundred businesses, a hundred small businesses with three to five to seven partners, or, uh, you know, uh, members, uh, per business, per city. Hey, how's it going, Sarah? <laughs> Just getting it going for day number eight on the, on the, on the, on the, uh, 30 day challenge. You know, I'm, I'm going that. I'm, I'm going to finish this 30 days. I'm going to make it. There's a lot of bumps and bruises, but I'm going to make it. <laughs> I'm going for it. But, uh, yeah, we're talking about networking and the power and importance of networking. So across 50 cities or 60 cities, Online or offline networking is easier to do it online, but it can be done offline. You can get a thousand businesses. That's like about 20. I'm just doing some numbers. I'm just going over the mathematics. That's about 20 businesses per city or region with a 50 city tour. That's about, you know, that's about that's that's your thousand businesses. And on a timeline, you know, we're not really going to put a timeline on this yet. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. No, well, yeah, I mean, it's a whole lot, man. You ain't seen nothing. This, this little stuff I'm doing is just some little, Manny. I'm telling you, you ain't seen nothing, man. This is some little bits. I, 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 I'm trying to hold back from getting too deep. I'm trying to hold back because I, I let, let it come pouring out. If I let it come pouring out, it'll be four or five hours. And, and people that know me that hang with me, they know I can go. So I'm trying to hold myself back. But anyway, um, you know, and at a 50 city tour, you know, you could do it. I'm, I'm putting a little timeline on here at five cities a week. Look at that five cities a week. And let's say 10 weeks. OK, look at that five cities a week in 10 weeks. These are just numbers. I'm just doing mathematics. There's your 50 city tour. There's your 1000 businesses. Now, part of the process, we'd be interviewing people. There's a lot of stories. You got so many humans. Everybody's got a story. Everybody on this live has a story. Everybody in their mama has a story. Uh, I'm, cause I, I, I gotta get it all, <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> I gotta get it all together. There's so much of it. I have to, I had to dig and find this thing. It took me about 30 minutes to find this note cause I have it on my Evernote. 
And I had to dig. It took me about 30 minutes to find this thing. And I knew I did it and I didn't forget where I put it. But anyway, it just has to be organized and it has to come out in an, an orderly fashion where it makes sense and where, you know, everything lines up after, you know, without being a, too much of a perfectionist. Because that is a problem, too. If you're, if you're, if you're a perfectionist, you won't move. <laughs> because perfectionists sometimes they can be either annoying or they will never move. No, so it, it, it can go either way are extremes. But uh, this stuff I'm saying here, I'm just kind of putting out a couple of bullet points on it, and uh, it, it's definitely I'm this is definitely going to be a movement, but it has to be an organized movement, and and it doesn't be a grassroots movement. It's a grassroots movement. Those are the movements that are that are, that are successful and, and they're sustainable. Uh, how long has it been, Sherry? Mm, this particular stuff been about since about 2012, 2013, I would say. This specific group economics thing, probably since about 2012. So this is 2017. It's five years. So I think it might have been 2013. I may, I may be wrong on that, but I think it was 2012. So I've, I'm, I've brainstormed a lot of stuff on this, researched a lot of stuff on it, looked at a lot of stuff on this and, you know, come up with a lot of different things on this, you know, and, and, and people have had different ideas and people are doing different things. What I haven't seen is, uh, people that, you know, we have a lot of different conversations with, 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 with different people. What I haven't seen is people that are, you know, actually getting up doing something or whatever, because that's, that's the tough thing, the execution. You know, and, you know, like I said, you, you have to have certain principles and you have to have certain um, faculties and certain qualities to see some of these things through. Even though, even though the stuff I'm talking about is on the surface is somewhat simple, but uh, some of it anyway, uh, there's still a lot of psychology behind this stuff. That's why I keep saying mathematics and psychology. Uh, that's a whole deep. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. That's it's time to get this popping. Most definitely, it is time to get it popping. You know, we got the plan down. We got all this down, and it is time to get this to make this stuff a reality. Yes, uh, on a small level, big level, you know, whatever, something. Get this going. This is a movement. You know, but um, but yeah, these numbers I'm putting out. You know, because like I said, it's all about mathematics and psychology. And, uh, and, you know, uh, the psychology is the part that gets you to get out there and get it going. Because you got the human element. You have lives. You have stories. You have personalities. You have the human part of all the stuff that goes on. And you have the mathematics. And primarily the mathematics is numbers. When it comes to business, man, you got to have numbers. Uh, psychology. What's holding me back? Psychology, psychological stuff, personality stuff, uh, inner, the inner game. You know, you got the inner game and the outer game and the inner game is pretty much the main thing out here. Ain't nothing really out here. Nothing really out here. We're in America. We got Trump in there. What did he say? Make America great. So we, we can do we can do all types of stuff. People, you know, people walk across the country. People jog. People do all types of stuff based on will. You know, people do all types of stuff based on will psychology and the numbers may be against them, but the mindset, you know, goes against the um, goes against what uh, the, the typical person would say or think. And you have to kind of be out of the box, maybe even a little bit crazy, or at least people can call you crazy. Maybe just a little bit. Don't be nuts now, but just a little bit crazy, <laughs> just a little bit crazy. But um I'm just putting these numbers out there <clears throat> as far as the movement. That's why I just said 100 businesses and the three to five people per, um, you know, per location or whatever, you know, um, something that's very doable within the 30, 60, 90 day period. You know, that's very doable if it's something small enough that has a 30 day turnaround time or 60, 90 day, whatever turnaround time is very doable. And uh, what are some other businesses that you, you can get into, probably parlay into eventually? If you don't start off initially, you know, have a little patience and start off with some of that stuff I mentioned earlier. Some of that affiliate stuff, some of that eBay stuff, some of that, uh, you know, MLM stuff, affiliate marketing, uh, direct sales, some of that, you know, temporarily. And you can parlay that into other things like, I'm listening to some stuff here. Barbershops, beauticians, mechanics, landscapers, store owners, vending routes, janitorial, musicians, 
rappers, music producers, nightclub owners, um, network uh, direct mail marketers, bloggers, and on and on. So basically what I'm talking about today, and that was kind of uh, the end of it, because I, I have a lot of notes on like, Evernote. And this is one of my entries on Evernote. <clears throat> and uh, I think that was the end of this particular entry. I got some other stuff, not much on that uh, that that uh, 1,000 business thing, but a lot of other stuff on networking. But anyway, I just wanted to make, put those numbers out there about the, the, uh, the 1,000 businesses, really 100 businesses. And with the group economics and networking, People getting together and doing something because, you know, together people can do a whole lot of big things, you know, together. They can do a whole lot of big things. This is the idea uh, that I am putting out there that through networking, through the psychology of networking person to person, um, you know, uh, connecting with people, networking and connecting. A part of networking is connecting professional networking is, you know, you're doing it for professional purposes, professional, you know, you, you're, you're trying to accomplish something doable that you can, that can be done professionally that can help other people. Hopefully. Yeah, it can. Eventually you have to bring service. You have to provide value, you know, without providing value, then you're not, <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't get anything accomplished without providing value, but through networking, uh, you know, online or offline, a hundred business marathon. Which could go to two, three, four, five hundred business marathon, which then they can go to a thousand business marathon. And 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 a and hundred businesses, we're talking three hundred to five hundred people, maybe even six to seven hundred or whatever, to you know, for a for hundred uh, for one hundred business entities. But these are just a few thoughts. Just a few thoughts. This is just from one entry. Like I said, I got about six, seven, eight hundred notes, probably about close to about a thousand notes I have. Uh, cause I'm, I'm a, I'm a voracious note taker and whatnot. I've been like that for years. Always have, has success journals, gratitude journals, all that type of stuff. I guess you can call them diaries. I never really call them diaries. I try to do diaries a couple of times, but more so journals of things, thoughts of substance, all that type of stuff. So this is just a little sneak peek. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and go do the full thing. I might as well pre prepare to do the, the full thing. Uh, probably Thursday. Go ahead and do the full um, thing on the whole group economics thing, uh, what all is involved with it, and um, how a lot of people can, if you don't you know, necessarily do something as far as uh, some sort of business or something, you can actually support the movement. And then not only supporting the movement, but supporting certain individuals or certain causes that you like, certain individuals you may like or be interested in, certain causes that you may want to support or whatever. Even if you're not behind the scenes, you can be there in the background, you know, and play as a different role. So there's a role for everybody. Another one of my little principles I have is the difference between building an audience and building a community. There's a difference between an audience and a community. It's similar. There's some similarities, but there are some differences. Audience is a little bit one sided, somewhat community. Everybody plays a role. But I'm going to get on that on another episode. See, all this stuff is these are all concepts and they all, you know, they all get a little they get a little deep. So another time we talk about building an audience versus building a community. Hey, what's up, Duan? What's up? 30 day challenge is still rolling, man. We on day number eight. Day number eight. We're getting in. We networking. But yeah, so I uh, just wanted to mention that Korean lady I talked about earlier who had the shop. That's kind of where this is coming from. How's it going, Skid Row? And um, that was sort of the inspiration for this. Really, I had talked about it a long time ago, but she just sort of solidified what uh, or exemplified what I had already known about. Because I had already knew that. I had learned that not from talking to a, a Korean business owner. I listened to, to, listened to Michael Bazin. Michael Bazin radio show. I love that guy, Michael Bazin. And he had, he talked about this subject about hair shops, about Korean beauty supply, the, the, the beauty supply store owners. And, you know, they had people, they had some black beauty supply store owners that were trying to get off the ground. They had a tough time with the distributors. And a Korean guy called in and his family members had let him know on how they were doing it, how they got their stores up and running. And they have, they had a lock on the district, the Korean community have a lock on the distributorships and they help each other to get those um, those stores up and running. 
and, you know, across the country. And as you notice, <laughs> it probably in every city, especially in the hood cities, but probably in every city across this country, from L.A. to Chicago to New York and every, whatever, the Koreans have all the, or most of the uh, the uh, beauty supply stores. Is that an accident? He, he, he broke it down on Michael Bay's and what that was all about. But that is networking. And you know what else those Koreans did? That's group economics. That is an example. And this ain't nothing new. They've been doing that for decades. He said they did that right around after they started doing it in this country after World War II. After World War II, uh, in the post-war uh, era, they came here to the United States and began setting up shop in the black neighborhoods with hair products back in the 50s. And we all see what they're doing today, 2017, and they still got it on lock. You know, so there's lessons to be learned in this thing. And it's not as easy as I'm saying. There's a lot of, you know, hurdles and things like that. There's a lot of resources, a lot of time and effort involved. But it's something that can be done. And through networking, through a group effort, everybody knows, you know, that you get some people together, we can do some things. You know, we can do some things. But yeah, this is KMB Cashful DJ uh, with Cashful Hustles Radio. Uh, just doing another episode for the 30 day challenge, for the 30 day video challenge. Hashtag MTA challenge mta challenge yeah i think it, no I, I can't even think of it i can't think i guess i wrote that down noted or whatever um but anyway it's a 30 day challenge i'm gonna have to put i'm gonna put the link up and people can can check that out or whatever but uh yeah just wanted to uh put that out there because i had some other stuff i wanted to do and i went back and, and jumped on this one and i just touched on networking a little bit and, you know, touched on on, on, on on the group economics thing. There's a whole lot to networking. But, yeah, I want to thank everybody for checking checking me out tonight. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for another episode, another installment. Uh, day nine. Day nine of, the, of this 30-day uh, challenge, 30-day video challenge. You're welcome to join me. Um, you're welcome to do one of yourself, what yourself. And, you know, it can be the video challenge or it can be, some, you know, other types of challenges because I do other types. I've been doing different challenges for years. So that's why I jumped on this so quick because they're very, they work. They're very, they're very powerful. And uh, that's about it. So, yeah, this is Cab the Cashflow DJ with CashflowHustlesRadio.com. Uh, just check me out with this uh, challenge. Join me if you can. Try to provide value. Try to do what I can. Uh, appreciate everybody, uh, the comments and all the support. Get with you guys later. I'm out. The Cashflow DJ. Holla.